Hi guys, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we are going to solve this water damage iPhone 12 Pro that won't turn on. Recently we have been able to save more than 85% of water damage devices. Every day we are improving our technique and investing money in good tools. To get to the motherboard we have to remove the screen. I use this technique 100 Celsius degrees during 3 or 4 minutes and with the help of the suction cup I open a hole. Then with the plastic pick guitar I cut the adhesive around it. Here we have the first sign of humidity. The humidity sticker has changed color and has turned red. To not confuse the screws, you can use this trick. You make a photocopy of the motherboard and that's it. This is the way you have to order the screws. And to make it more professional, you can look for images on Google and you have to download these templates. Will not take too long with the disassembly process, so I'll put it in fast camera. The idea is to remove the motherboard in searching of humidity signs. Finally, we've got the motherboard out of the device. Now, with the help of the microscope, we'll analyze it better. One of the pads is sulfated, so we'll have to clean it. Here, in this area, we've got a lot of corrosion. We continue with our visual inspection. Visual inspection is the most important step in the entire repair process. If you like this type of content, please don't forget to give me a strong like and in this way, I'll keep sharing quality content from our laboratory. Thank you. We've got good news also, the other connectors are fine. Let's clean the area. For this, we use contact cleaner and a piece of cotton. To keep the surface clean, we can use a metal brush. Specifically, we use a GBC brush.
we use the air station at 119 Celsius degrees and the surgical scalpel to remove the resin around these capacitors. After cleaning the area, we are going to measure these burnt capacitors. You can use a tester or, in my case, I'll use a multimeter in continuity mode. We put the black tip to ground and with the red tip we measure. The first three capacitors are fine. The last two capacitors are in short, that means that the whole line is in a short circuit. This type of capacitor cannot be to ground at both ends. The things change if you have coupling capacitors. We open an emulator to check this line. Here above, I leave you the complete tutorial of this ZXW, a tool very similar to this one. Here we have the humidity right in these capacitors. It's a very important line and for this reason is normal that our device doesn't turn on. I prefer to remove this capacitor with the tip of the soldering iron and not to use the air station. In this way we'll protect the motherboard. We are going to measure again. We've got good news, the short circuit is gone. We go to our schematic to know the value of this capacitor. We type C2921 and we press enter. In the description of this video, I'll put you the link from where to buy the 0.01 copper wire and the solder paste that we have used in this repair. We have a 15 UF microfaradios capacitor at 6.3 volts and the dimension of this component is 04 by 02. In the schematic of an iPhone 7, we are going to look for a similar capacitor to replace it. When we have it located, we remove it and that's it. We go back to our motherboard, we thin the pads and we solder it. To solder it, we can use a high temperature, for example 400 Celsius degrees and 20% of air. In this way, we'll take it very little time to solder it. As you can see, the whole line is ok. We are going to clean this connector to remove the sulfate. To check the final result, we have to assemble our device.
Before I place the screen, I realize that one of the connectors has sulfate, so I have to clean it also. The repair of a water damaged iPhone consists of talking small steps. We apply a little flux and the solder paste. Then, with the tip of the soldering iron at 300 Celsius degrees, we solder the pads. The final result is this one. Now we can place the screen. Our device is turned on perfectly. The repair price of this iPhone 12 Pro is 149 euros with the cost of shipping included. Guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.